I was blessed to grow up in a strong Christian family. They encouraged us to go to Awana and that's what uh, we would do, especially in elementary school and middle school. We went to Awana and memorized verses. But uh, one night when I was in kindergarten, we were talking about God and Jesus and the fact that they lived in heaven and that was where they were currently. And I remember hearing a lot of people talk about you know, getting to be with Jesus and getting to be with God. And so I remember going home that night and we were sitting on the couch after Awana with my family. I remember talking to my mom and dad saying, so Jesus and God are in heaven. How do I go to heaven to be with them? And thankfully, you know, my mom and dad, without skipping a beat, they jumped right into scripture and were able to tell me about the fact that Jesus came to earth and died on the cross for our sins because that sin separated us from God. And that if we put our faith in Jesus and we give our life to him, that he forgives us of our sin and justifies us before God as best as a, you know, a kindergartner could understand that, that he forgives us of that sin so that when we die, we do get to go to heaven to be with God. And so then and there on the couch, we prayed uh, that prayer and I surrendered my life to Jesus Christ. And as I grew to understand what that meant a little bit more through other people speaking to me, through uh, what I had heard people say in scripture and praying to God, I was baptized in fifth grade and continued to grow in my relationship with God in different ways. Um, in Middle school, things are a tough for just about everybody. You're figuring out kind of who you are, the person that God's made you to be. And I really struggled with a lot of insecurity and not knowing who I was, which really pushed me. And uh, my parents encouraged me to really grow in my relationship with God in that moment. And that caused me to kind of build up a good uh, friendship with God one thing I severely lacked was a love for God's scripture. He has, you know, provided us this book full of all of these things that he's written, all of his commands, all of the things that he loves, everything about him. And I was missing out on reading a lot of that. And if that's something you're struggling with, I really encourage you to dive into the scripture because that's ultimately what changed everything in high school. I had begun to start kind of living for myself. I was kind of chasing after things that I cared about. I remember when I finally had, thankfully I went to a Christian school, I had a great Bible teacher who really showed us the amazing things about scripture and how we can read it and get the most out of it. And through reading that scripture, I really saw that I was able to connect with God on a deeper level and that I really enjoyed explaining to other people what scripture meant. and. I remember even being in elementary school, my dad was, is a pastor, and I remember thinking all the way back then, what he does is really difficult. He has to deal with difficult people. He has to work a whole lot. He still does the uh, worship, but he also did the worship and the youth ministry. And so he would be in meetings, visiting people, um, working on songs, practicing this, that. He was busy a lot of the time. And that seemed really hard to me. And so that was something I didn't want to do. I remember telling God in elementary school, I'll be whatever you want me to be, as long as it's not a youth pastor like my dad. It's too hard. And so now in high school, I'm discovering that God has gifted me with communication with the scripture and sharing it with other people that I kind of have a passion about that, passion for his scriptures. And so after running from it for a long time and telling him that I wouldn't do it, I remember him finally showing me again through his scripture that his power would be made perfect in my weakness. The areas that I, I didn't have a very charismatic personality, but that he showed me that he would work through that, that he would be the one who would be able to be glorified in the fact that he could even communicate to people effectively. And so through that, you know, God showed me that 
that was something that he had called me to do. And so that's why I came to Liberty University to learn how to be a youth pastor. And that's why I'm here with the church now to uh, continue to live out that call that God's put on my life. And I'm so thankful that that's what he's done, that he died on the cross for us and that he has given my life purpose and that I get to be here and share that with you.